Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 28, 2011. This week I've got your background, series number two, creating peekaboo windows and backgrounds with Photoshop and Elements. This week's on-trend tip is the second in our new series on adding pizzazz to background papers in Photoshop and Elements. In just a few easy steps you can create windows in your background papers that allow papers, photos, and elements to peek through. Begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. For the sample I use the keyboard shortcut Control N or on a Mac system that's Command N and created a new document 12 inches by 12 inches at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch RGB color mode with a white background and clicked OK. Press Control J or on a Mac system Command J on the keyboard to duplicate the background. Now you'll see the background and the duplicate in your layers panel. Add a drop shadow layer style to the top layer using your favorite method. Get a marquee tool like the elliptical marquee tool or the rectangular marquee tool and then choose the add to selection icon in the options bar across the top of the screen. Set the feather to zero pixels and then drag out a shape on your document. Click then hold the shift key to drag out a perfect square or a perfect circle. Drag several more shapes to make windows and then press delete or backspace on your keyboard. This will cut the window out of the top layer allowing the bottom to show through. Press Control D on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection. Next get the move tool and drag a piece of digital paper between the two layers. You can move the layers in the layers panel to position them correctly. Then press Control E or on a Mac system Command E to make this layer the background. Drag another piece of digital paper over the top layer and drag it into place. Hold the Alt key or on a Mac system the Option key and click between the top layer and the second layer to create a clipping mask. Your pattern paper will take the shape of the cutout paper. Using this method is better than cutting holes directly in your digital paper since you can change out the paper design if you change your mind later. To allow digital embellishments and photos to peek through the hole, open up the embellishments and drag them onto your layout. Position them between the cutout layer and the background layer. Playing peekaboo with your digital papers is a fun way to add interesting design elements to your digital projects. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.